Hey everyone and welcome back to another Bible art video. Thank you so much for the sweet comments on my other one. I'm so glad to know that you enjoyed it. So we're back with another one today. So we're on Genesis chapter 24. Now chapter 24 is a bit of a longer chapter so I get to do two pieces of art for this chapter. And I started with, you can probably guess what it is, uh, the first one which is Rebecca's jug. So the story is wonderful. It's the fact that they would know if Rebecca was the one to marry Isaac by whether she would give water to the camels. So she's described as very beautiful. She comes down to the well with her jug on her shoulder and she runs and pours water for the man and for his camels. And this is what this part symbolizes. So we've got the jug and we've got it pouring water into the trough for the camels. So I'm doing watercolor today, as you can see. I'm not as confident with watercolors as I am with pencil, but I give it a good go. It is harder because the paper is obviously so thin and usually when you watercolor, you watercolor on really coarse textured paper, so it tends to look a bit better. So it's, it's quite difficult watercoloring on this thin Bible paper. And obviously the water makes it go all wrinkly uh, as well. So that is an extra challenge, but yeah we're going with the process um, as you can see I'm needing to blot a lot because it's hard to keep white spaces when you're watercoloring so the best way to do that is to make sure it's wet and then just dab it with a bit of um, kitchen roll and I kind of do the same process where I where I layer and get darker and darker to show the depths of the objects So as you can see here, I'm kind of dabbing the water out. You can't really see the water on camera, but believe me, it was soaked. <laughs> there was water everywhere and I was really struggling to kind of keep it looking neat. So now I'm doing the water trickling. This was really hard. I found this really difficult to kind of make that look decent, <laughs> but yeah, we're going with it. So this is a really lovely chapter. I think it's so beautiful how God has given them a sign. So the uh, the servant is has gone all this way and he's going to know well, how he asked how am i going to know which which is the woman that that we want for isaac and god said you'll know her because she's basically she's going to be really sweet <laughs> she's going to offer water to your animals as well as you and that's how they knew and she did it so god ordained that that marriage and he knew exactly what to look for and in the background here i'm just adding a bit of greenery a kind of like the illusion of perhaps trees and field in the distance without me needing to add the detail. I kind of wanted the focus just to be on the jug here. Now I'm adding some gouache. So I needed to bring those whites out. Like I said, it's hard to keep the whites when you're watercoloring, especially the way I do it with lots of layers. So I just went in with some gouache, which is like a thicker white, and just brought out the highlights in the water a bit more and a little bit on the jug. And it's okay if you make mistakes. So as you see, I don't know if you've got a keen eye, you might notice anyway, the top of the jug, I wasn't too happy with how I did that highlight. I'm gonna go over it in a second and cover that up there we are <laughs> so it's fine you can it's quite forgiving yes there's lots of layers and watercolor is a little bit harder but the good thing is if you wet it and just dab it away it, um, it goes and me being me I just need coloring pencils I just love coloring pencils I don't see many other people use coloring pencils with watercolor I just really like them and it helps get that bold uh, outline. I really like that kind of look with the darker edges and colouring pencils just helped me do that. And the white pencil was redundant, didn't really do much so I went back in with some gouache and brightened up those areas that needed it a bit more. It just looked like a big blue plait or braid otherwise I wasn't loving it. But yeah I think we kind of went with it. You get the idea. Every piece is a challenge so yeah the whole point is as long as you are reflecting on the word and the story as you are painting then you're getting everything out of it that 
that you need to get. So I hope you enjoyed watching this one today. Thank you for being here. Remember, Jesus loves you. God willing, I'll speak to you soon. And until then, have a blessed day. Bye.